Hello YouTube! I am the Norwegian film nerd Thorstein from Cinema Terror, and this is my review of the Danish 1969 uh, artsy drama, perhaps exploitation film, Dangerous Summer. Also known as Blackout, as you can see in the title credits I am using here. I had never heard of this film before deciding to pop it in today. And I was just in the mood for some Yero Slays and figured a movie with a cover like this would suit my mood. I mean, damn, talk about selling your movie on sex. What I did not do before buying this DVD was to actually check if it had any subtitles on it, which it did not. Now, the Danish and Norwegian language has enough similarities that we can understand each other if we concentrate, but I personally have a hard time with it as it's a confusing language that nearly makes sense to me, but the unique Danish pronunciation way makes me lost in translation. What I am getting at here is that I might not have completely understand all of the dialogue and the story. What I did get from the film is that it starts out with a bunch of young people having a party, filled with all the fun stuff like sitting together and watching a hardcore porno. Typical Danish behavior from my experience. One of them decides to head home, ignoring the dangers of drinking and driving, and accidentally hits and kills a pedestrian and fleeing the scene. To cure their hangover, five of the youngsters from the party go out on a trip the very next day to the countryside for some relaxation and fun. Not knowing that the police investigation has led the police to believe that one of the five might be the murderer from last night. Who is it, and how is the person reacting to this shocking experience? That's what you have to watch Dangerous Summer to find out. I guess, as the movie isn't all that story driven in the first place to be honest. Instead, this is a chill experience with young people walking around being happy, enjoying their coming of age and basically acting free. Out of the 75 minute running time, we spend about 6 of them just following these guys goof around. The remaining time is split between the supposedly main plot and some out of place sex scenes that turn out to be filmed separate and added in later to much disagreement with the original cast and crew. These explicit scenes are only in the cut with the blackout title, which just happens to be the one I'm watching today. While the sex scenes are bland and do not fit, they are welcome as it does spike up the film, even if they have no rights at all to be in there in the first place. The rest of the film is more innocent, but weird. It felt like the film is made from free-spirited people that might have enjoyed a joint or two while filming and let that vibe transpire into the movie. There are some nice shots to be found though, as it's clearly not made by hacks, and the vibe keeps you paying attention even if basically nothing at all is happening on the screen. There are also some weird decisions, like suddenly going into a photo slideshow, not once but twice. I thought the movie was ending when it happened for the first time actually. Some of the acting is also insane, unless it took some LSD without me noticing it. I am guessing that there was a meaning behind all of this that the director and screenwriter Christopher Bru tried to deliver with Dangerous Summer, but what it was just got lost on me, either because of language differences or because it just wasn't clear enough. I have to admit that my brain worked at 50% rate while watching this film though, as the other part of my brain turned itself off due to lack of interesting stuff happening to process. I can think of a group of people that I can recommend Dangerous Summer to. I'm sure that 99% of everyone else in the world will be bored out of their mind watching this slow film. Even so, I found some enjoyment in its simple, easy atmosphere. I doubt that I would have changed the final score even if I had subtitles and understood all of the dialogue as the plot played such a small part in the film in the first place. So the final score for Dangerous Summer is just 2 out of 5. Are there anyone out there that has actually seen this film? What are your thoughts on Danish cinema in general? Fill up the comment section below, check out my Patreon page if you want to support the channel, and I hope to see you again on my next video, and thank you for watching.